Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorhome and Adventures. Hi indeed. It's October and we're off to Birmingham. And oh yes. That can only mean one thing really. Yeah. It? Yeah. Caravan and motorhome show. We got some vans to show you. We got some other bits to show you. Needless to say, let's get on and straight into the films. Enjoy. So the Contiki 894, the Swift. Got that rear island configuration there. 8.96 meters long, 2.89 high, and a maximum laden weight of five tons. Lovely motor home this. The Thule awning there. Fixtures there for the uh, bike rack and the uh, double camera up there. And then that's a good sized, a good sized garage indeed. Look at all those little cubby holes and spaces. Lashing points on the floor there. This is the Aldi wet heating system as well that it's got. In fact, that gives you an idea of the uh, how the system works with the uh, little top-up reservoir there, and then it's just radiator-fed, a bit like similar to your perhaps your house radiator system. And then that pinky colour is the sort of additive they add to it. Runs off a little thermostat in the van. Perfect. Let's have a little look inside. The integral blind, as always. And the built-in bin. Little storage pockets there, which is nice. See there's a wireless wireless charger there as well. Built on a Fiat chassis of course. And as you'd expect from a 2024 van, it's got the um, Uprated Fiat dashboard, slightly more modern clocks and uh, central head unit as well. Really nicely done these seats though, with the stitching. Yeah, very comfortable, lots of little nooks and crannies. 12 volt chargers, USB and all the controls you'd expect as normal on your Fiat steering wheel. Fold out table in the middle here opens out. And then uh, a lift up leaf here, which lifts up to uh, give you a little bit more work surface area. A nice, uh, really nice insert sink. Chrome taps there. Automatic microwave. Very nice too. Some nice storage options they have the uh, the Swift fans with some little racks built in and bits and pieces like that. Then this big four burner, three gas, one electric cooker, double oven, great space. Drawer is a bit uh, had a bit of a battering at yesterday's show, but then all these little pull out um, pull out features are really nice. Nice deep drawers for your pans. Over the other side as well, you've got a pull-out larder unit. The 
this lovely big domestic fridge. Great sizes. I'm down the bottom here. Got another really good size drawer there. Overhead locker there. That's where you've got your Truma system, that's your MPPT solar controller and your TV aerial there and the booster. Integral light comes on as you open the cupboard, which is nice. And then you've got this, uh, then you're through to this great big area which has got this double aspect door, so opens into this here, but also held back there towards the uh, shower area. Good storage. Nice little sink unit, electric flush there, and of course, a bit more storage there. Sliding doors as well that come across, so you can obviously isolate the bedroom area itself. And let's just move this door back across. There we go. And there you go. Got a good, uh, a good space there. Almost well, making it into a sort of ensuite with a bifold door there that comes across for your shower. Venting out the top there. I drag out the moist air. Little towel rail that just pulls down there. Brilliant, certainly when we're in Europe, hang our towels on our one similar in our van. It dries in about 20 minutes with the incredible heat out there. And then the island bed, isn't that smart? Really nicely done indeed. Wardrobe units each side. Let's just have a look at one here. Little light come on there with your hanging rail. Some great storage. Adjustable bed, obviously, which can lift, the bed can lift up. And as you can see, in fact, we're seeing down there into the garage space below. Switching here. And then over here, a bit more switching as well. There we go. It's got a little bit more light in here, dimmer switch. So you see there, we can dim it. Dimmer lighting, which is nice. That's your, a little bit of your reserve for your Aldi wet heating system. But some extra storage as well, little cubby holes there. Together, of course, with a full length mirror there, narrow mirror. And over this side, you've obviously got your sliding door catches and the channel, and the same again that side, so that the doors just pull, ac pull across and join in the middle. Bit of space obviously there for your TV, wall mounted TV for your bedroom. And uh, as you'd expect, you've got your blackout blinds, your fly screens that come down over the opening windows there, and an identical wardrobe area that side. Plenty of room around the sides here to move around this lovely island bed. And looks pretty comfortable. Yep, that's pretty good as you'd expect, with a little Duvalet, Duvalet Alto mattress there. Very nice indeed. So a great bit of space, isn't it? And of course, there's your second bunk there, that drops down. Electronically operated, of course. Held in place by the strapping. Fan controls up the top here. 
that run on your heating and uh, other hab systems in the van. There's your bed lift and lower with its locking key in place there. Position for your second TV point with the aerial point and power here for, to be positioned here. A nice space though, isn't it? Nice stitching on the uh, seats there as well. But a big space. And even a little bit of extra cubby storage at the top there. Big opening window at the front. And again, more storage space. Tucked away at the front there. These are nice lights as well. Like those. But uh, you certainly get an effect of that, um, of that big eight meter span. As you sit here on one of these, um, the rotating passenger seat, it seems to go on for miles back through to the uh, island bed back there. Certainly, uh, certainly see one of those extra millimetres get used up in setting out this really nice Contiki. And as you can see there, the um, 114 is your standard. Um, this one that we've just been through, 116 on the road. I like the decals as well, they're a nice finish as well. Very nice too, so that's the Contiki 894. And while we're on the uh, Contiki stand, I'll just show you that slightly different configuration at the back on the 874. As you can see, it's got the rear lounge as well. And the drop-down bed, again, it's a five-ton. Um, but, uh, and again, it's a very similar price there, you see. 115 and a half. But the 874, same length van, of course, at 8.96 metres. But um, similar area at the front here similar galley but then this is the difference you've got with the 874 uh, the fridge has been moved across you've got your toilet slightly further towards the hab door with its usual little storage pockets and then you've got this lovely rear lounge look at the size of this that's a fantastic space. You can see into the into the slidey door, it sees you into the garage there. Full width garage. For your, uh, for your power and 12 volt socket. Overhead lockers again. Wardrobe spaces each side with your hanging rails. And then under the seats of this lovely big rear lounge you've got your bedding, bedding system which we can't get out today but uh, which obviously allows it to fold out and become a uh, become your second double bed. Lovely comfy cushions these are, I must say. They are really super squishy. Massive rear lounge. Um, a little uh, concertina door there that can give you a bit of privacy at the back here if it's obviously being used as its bedroom format. So same length, but instead of that big island bed that we saw in the 894, you've got this, this lovely size rear lounge. And it really is a good size, that. And just 
just past the toilet you've got your by folding doors to your little shower cubicle there. Yeah, so very slight, uh, very slight tweaks from the sort of from that sort of position onwards. But certainly, if you're taking a family away, that is a fantastic space with those two twin sort of lounge areas from the front here both really good sizes excellent space love the lighting too and just as the 894 got you switching up there and of course your drop down bed as well what a great space great size van It's just showing it in its uh, in its bed mode with the doubles there. Some good storage spaces, as you'd expect on the outside. There's the entrance into that big garage we saw. Almost identical, aren't they? Looks until you get inside. So that's the uh, 874 and the 894. Do check out the channel. We've got um, from the 2023 Caravan and Motorhome show, we've got plenty more films for you to look at there of some of these amazing vans on display here. Hi guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the film. Mm. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this review, then uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, as there are many more reviews of motorhomes and camper vans on there. Absolutely, yes. God, wasn't that fun? Love a bit of caravan and motorhome show. So, look out for the next one. Plenty coming from the October 2023 Caravan and Motorhome Show. We'll see you again soon. See you guys. Bye, guys.